All right, there's a video for 3VT. I'd like to explain a couple of things that you learned last year that you'll need for chapter 9. Here I wrote down a uh, frequency table. Here it has a few numbers and here it has a frequency. The frequency means how many times those numbers occur. Well, there is no story here, but if you take a look in the book, then here we see a different example. It says the following frequency table corresponds to this histogram. And these, are, these are the Dutch victories in Grand Slam tournaments over this period. That means that zero victories that happened nine times. One victory happened 14 times. So this is how that works. You can find all the other information also. But I'm going to go back to the schedule that I made over here. So here I have uh, the number zero happens twice. The number one happens five times, etc. Now I want to tell you what, uh, how to calculate the mean, mode, and median. The mean is also known as the average, sort of. So if you want to calculate that, you want to know the total uh, numbers that you have, and then divide it by the total frequency. So uh, zero happened two times, so you're going to do two times zero. Uh, five happens once, so you're going to do five times one. This happened, uh, two happened once, so you're going to do one times two. Then the three happened six times, so you're going to do six times three, and then you're going to do uh, two times four and zero times five. Okay, I wrote that down a bit weird, let me do it again. Zero times five, yes. You need to divide this by the total frequency. So the total frequency is when you add these numbers. So 2 plus 5 is 7, so this is 8, 14, 16. So you divide this by 16, and then you know the average, which will be yeah, some one of these numbers, like rounded off. Actually, I'm not going to calculate it now, because it's not that interesting. The mode is the one that happens most often. So if you take a look where the, where the highest frequency is, you can see that's here. 6 is the highest frequency, so that means that the mode is 3. 3 happens most. Now, if two of these numbers actually share the highest frequency, so if this was also a 6, for example, then there is no mode. Then the median. The median is the middle number, but you always have to put them in order from low to high. Well, in a frequency table, they're already in the order from low to high, so we're just going to count what the total frequency is. That is 16. It's even, that means that there are two numbers in the middle. The eighth number and the ninth number, they're both in the middle. So we need to add them and then divide it by two. You take the average of the two numbers in the middle. So here we have uh, two plus five is seven, plus one is eight. So the eighth number is a two, and the ninth number is a three. So if you do two plus three divided by two, you have two and a half. So the median is two and a half, so that means that the median can actually be a number that's not in your table, but it can still be the median. So this is how that works. Hopefully this uh, freshens up your memory a bit. I'll see you later.